Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be showcasing Elder Dragon versus Lissandra. Should be a lot of fun. Also, just before this, I was recording another video or did another video on stream that was Aatrox and Tom Kench versus Lissandra. If you want to check that out, that Twitch stream was saved and uploaded to my VODs channel. There'll be a link to that down below if you're interested. All right, let's get into it. So first, let's take a look at Elder Dragon star powers. Allies with a base cost of six or higher, cost two less. Really nice, just some basic cost reduction right there. Then plus one starting mana. When you play a base six cost or higher ally, play a random dragon boon on it. Those dragon boons give you some nice buffs and they also reduce down the cost of our Elder Dragon. For the build we're going with, we're going for Starforge Gauntlets. So we're getting that plus one starting mana. Portal Pass, so that when we summon Elder Dragon, we're then getting two other units that both cost seven or higher. And then they're reduced down by the base cost of Elder Dragon, which is 12, which is just about the most expensive unit in the game. So those are both gonna be free. And then the Beast Within, just giving us Overwhelm and pretty much our entire deck, an additional one, one. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. Support Champion, let's see what we can get here potentially go with Aurelian Soul. That might not be too bad. So Jace, Trundle, we'd want someone that has a base cost of six or higher. Yeah, I feel like we might actually want to go for Aurelian Soul with that double attack. The Fangs, this has Lifesteal as well as Vampire Acceptor, so a ton of sustain right here. Star Shaping also has sustain. That's really nice for this adventure because there's almost no heals. I think we will actually go here. All right, power, unstable inventory. I mean, it is pretty random. Sometimes it helps you a lot. Sometimes it doesn't help you that much, but I feel like let's go with it, see what we can get. Gold chest, and now the shop. So Kale, sadly, so close to that six cost. I think let's get the gentle gem dragon. Good to get a couple more six costs. So we can grab that. Molten Breath, an ally with Fury strikes two, the two weakest enemies, one after the other. And this is going to have some cost reduction. I think that's also worth having because that could give us some really good removal. Uh, capture, that's a little much. Shadow Totem's not bad. I think we can go for that Shadow Totem because those will be some really strong units. And then also that'll give us some extra draw. And then let's use one reroll just to see if we get something else pretty solid here. That orange is actually not bad. That's interesting. So we'd be able to play this for free. Yeah, I think we will actually grab Orin. Because <laughs> we're going to play him for free. That could actually help us out. All right, so we could go the bottom path top path don't really want to go for it that stares i think i'd rather go for draclorn so down here is a champion item chest which would be pretty nice but up here is a power i think we'll go down the middle to try to get uh, this power right here and then hit up the draclorn inquisitor so rhyme tush shaman and i am inevitable well that is pretty solid uh we'll get rid of the strafing strike but this is going to be very good. Oh, we also got our Elder Dragon. Wonderful. I have pledged my life to dragons. If friend, I bid you welcome. All right, we'll just pass. No reason to attack since they're frostbitten. And we're at eight health or eight mana already. Uh, sure, we can try to buff that up a little bit. And we can just drop Aurelian Soul, because why not? Alright, 
let's go ahead and drop our Elder Dragon. Although I suppose he's going to get frostbitten right away. We don't have plunder, so we won't bother playing this yet. I am Dragon's Wrath. And sure, we can bring that aside over here. That's just going to be a ton of damage. Alright, this might just be game. inevitable. Oh, well, that's not good. Wonder at my creations. Now they'll pay attention. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this, kill both their units. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. The familiar things for you grown terrans. Alright, we're fine with ending. We're just gonna open attack and end the game. My how they stare. Alright. GG. Oh, Alright, we already have too many <laughs> champions. Uh, I guess we'll go for the King's Court, just because this is going to be above a 6 cost, so it's going to get cost reduced down, just be a 5 cost, so better than the others. Uh, spells chest. I think we'll go for the Molten Breath. Just get a bunch of cost reduction. And this is going to be some amazing removal. Alright. Yeti Yearlings or Warden of the Tribes. I think Warden is normally easier than Yeti. So let's go ahead and try to go here. Alright. Let's get rid of this one. And the Wounded White Flame as well. We'll play Orn round one for free. He already has tough, so let's go for that challenger. Go for the pleasantries needed. And yeah, I guess he just actually is able to scale up pretty it's my kind of critter. pretty strong. Hold my bear. Actually, yeah, with that scout attack, wouldn't be able to survive, so we'll go ahead and go here. I suppose I kind of want to use this for the attack. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop this. Uh, we'll go for that impact and extra damage. I'm surprised I thought they would have attacked. You wanted the god of the forge, you got him. I guess we can kill that, heal up, 
block one of the others. Alright, not too bad. Although, making it so they have a little bit less cost reduction could be pretty solid. Alright, so down to a six cost. Uh, let's give this one Challenger. I do love the extra sustain we get by playing Elder Dragon. Alright. Ah, uh, both of these are still... <laughs> Can't get our scout attack off because we'll just die. Little sad. What do you hold like? Hmm. Alright, so we'll bring this one over here. This one will probably block and kill Orn, but it will be a lot of damage. Uh -huh. Here comes my molten friend. Alright, GG. Alright, not too bad. So this one would be a six cost, but it's not a base six cost. Uh, we don't really want too many units that are that expensive. So yeah, I think we will just have to go for the Wandering Shepherd. Although I would have liked the sustain from the Stellicorn. All right, so Snowy Razor Claw, Frostbite. All units have Vulnerable, and their units have four power and quick attack. So this will be pretty rough. All right, let's get rid of both of these. These other two are pretty good. We can give Spell Shield to... Uh, I suppose we can give that there. We will show them where their spells can help. And we'll give Spell Shield to Elder Dragon. Alright, that's not too bad. We really want to be sure we're killing the enemy units. Because other, otherwise, they're just going to give us a really bad time. Uh, Challenger is kind of pointless because everything has vulnerable. So they're probably not going to block and then just uh, they'll kill us with their attack. Ah, oh, well. Alright, this will be pretty good. Alright, so we'll be able to drop Elder Dragon. Oh, not quite yet, sad. Uh, we already have Scout on it. Anyone seen any sheep around here? I, uh, last night. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Just trying to get as many blockers as possible. With as much health as possible. Because, yeah, this is going to be... Hey, stop that. Tough. This way, come along. Hey, stop that. This way, come along. Alright, so we 
can play Elder Dragon. Would like to play Fangs, but... I feel like we just need to go ahead and drop this right now. see I guess let's get a couple extra stats as well so we wouldn't quite level up trigger that or I guess it won't trigger the death list because we're gonna give everyone such a large amount of stats reduced Go down to an eight. Not great. All right, let's get rid of their overwhelm units. Yeah, we'll attack like this, get a lot of damage down. Although, uh, I didn't think about it, but because of our damage, if we just grabbed their units with less health, we could have just destroyed their nexus. I just didn't think about it at all. So let's attack with this unit and try to end the game. All right, GG. <laughs> We took a lot of damage there, but that was a pretty tough one. We have too many champions as it is. Give an ally the next time I would die this round. Fully heal me and grant me 3-3 instead. That actually could be decent for Orn, but probably going to be very niche. Uh, let's just go here. Another solid dragon. We could go for the heal, but I want to get some more power. Sustain, inheritance, prey. So sustain is good. But we're not playing that many spells. We wouldn't get much sustain out of it. Inheritance is strong, and we do have Overwhelm. So yeah, we can grab this. All right, Draclorn. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's get rid of the King's Court and Ruby-Eyed Conjurer. Nice to have Orn in our opening hand. Uh, let's go for the death list. This it was so good I named it Hammer. Fighting is my first language. All right, let's. Go ahead and start a free attack. Uh, let's go for that top. We want to be able to survive if possible. Well, at least we're killing their big scary unit. <laughs> Good. Yes. All right. So we'll go here. Try to reduce down the damage we're taking. Let's attack with the Gem Drake first. Get some more sustain going. We want to be able to use our Molten Breath. Wow, 
Well, that's sad. And that's pretty sad as well. Somebody hold my beer. Yeah, we'll do the best that we can. Here comes my molten friend. Ah, oh, it's not good. Sounds like we have a problem. All right, so we could forge Orn, deal one to all units. So our units are going to be perfectly fine, but this will kill both of theirs. I follow the friend yours, true leader. All right, sadly, our Orn is not a dragon. Let's try to get some kills. Okay, good. They don't have a frostbite this time. And we can go again. Oh, they apparently did have a frostbite. Let's try to make Orn a little bit stronger. Alright, going pretty well. We can drop our Aurelian Soul next turn and it has just a crazy amount of damage. Just trying to make sure we have enough. Hello, Rune Terra. Let's rock. The constellations bow to me. So it's pretty much going to come down to, do they have a Frostbite? I know they have some slow Frostbites, so we're going to try to open attack. Hammer never fails. Here comes my Molten friend. Alright, GG. Uh, yeah, giving this Quick Strike, pretty good. Also, this can count as a Rally, so that's pretty solid. That one will be tough, but I kind of care about the champion item more than Mind Meld. Mind Meld tends to just show me the cards that I don't want to cut. We do have actually a decent deck. There's a couple we could get rid of, but I doubt Mind Meld's going to hit that. Uh, so let's go for champion item. So Double Time Watch could be good. I think I'm actually going to go for Phage with the Orn, though, because if we can just play him round one and let him scale up, uh, he'll be able to carry the game and do quite a good job. All right, so Wooly Snail Muth. All right, Star Shaping, that's good. We can get rid of one of the Aurelian Souls. Yeah, this is all right. We have the attack tokens, so that's nice. Granted, the enemy does have a lot of free attacks. Hopefully our Orn can scale up more than the enemy units. Uh, let's go ahead and go for that death list. I have pledged my life to dragons. Alright, we can attack like this. Nice that we're able to get a attack in with Orn to try to scale him up before they start doing crazy things. Tombstones. 
All right, so star shaping, not bad. So forge orn. Yeah, I think we'll just go for another dragon worshiper. Sounds like we have a problem. Yeah, I think we'll just go like this. Ah, we can drop Aurelian Soul. Wonderful. Hello, Runeterra. Let's rock. You leave me no choice. All right, yeah, let's just try to push as much damage as we can. Probably won't be able to end the game, but actually, let's. Put Aurelian Soul first, that way Orn levels up. <laughs> Good. Yes. Oh yeah, Deathless doesn't like. Deathless doesn't like Poro Fluff. It was so good I named it. Wonder at my creation. Pretty good. Now they'll pay attention. Alright, we have spell shield for that. Let's go ahead, heal up our Nexus a little bit. Uh Soraka. I think we'll go for the supernova because it should be free. <laughs> Malphite. Uh I think again let's go for a supernova. We just want to make sure the enemy can't have any units. So we'll wait for them to play something. The winter's claw strikes. All right, bye bye. Fight or die. All right, that's fine. Let's see if we can get some of our heals again with the messenger. Time for walkies, boy. All right, no. Who's a good boy? All right, we'll just open attack next round, and that'll be game. My, how they stare. Well, I suppose we could play this. We're just trying to heal up a little bit, a little bit more. Let's just go full aggro with our Orn, I guess. Interesting. I mean, we don't want more champions. Wrath of Freljord could be okay. But we want to play Orn around one. Getting some more copies isn't bad. All right, item chest. Tough Spirit Stone. I think we'll go for the Spirit Stone just because with the uh, unstable inventory, we could get some crazy combinations. Alright, shop. 
That's not bad. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I think I'm fine with just grabbing some items. Although, let's try a reroll. Ah, uh, mana deposit will be better there. Don't really want to put any of these in our hand. All right, Trundle. And at last, they awaken. All right, pretty good. We'll get rid of the Eclipse Dragon. We want to pretty much always have all of our champions if possible. All right, we don't start with the attack token. A little sad. Um. Hmm. We don't actually want to use this unit to block I Challenger. Sure, let's go for that this time. So I named it His Deathless doesn't really work anyways. I'll knock him dead. We live in times of wonder. Alright, we can just play Elder Dragon right away. Do not be hasty. It will make its will known. Well, that's kind of useless for us. A true Fragnorian welcome. Deploy! What will you have? Alright, so we can go ahead and kill their trundle, at least get him out of the way. Positions! And sure, we can just attack like that. Let's talk about your dad. You wanted the god of the forge, you got him! We'll play this. We want to be able to have a blocker. Alright, let's get rid of this one. Is this enough to level up Elder Dragon? It is. So that's essentially just going to be uh, game then. Man, they do have some pretty big units. But yeah, shouldn't matter. Uh -huh. Here comes my molten friend. GG. I thought Elder Dragon was supposed to just one-shot the Nexus, regardless of damage. Huh. Alright. Apparently, that is not how he works. No leave scratch. Dark in the skies. Ah! Tearing my spirit. 
goodness, some of these are getting a little crazy. Be able to end game now. <laughs> Fighting is my first language. Huh. You're all in trouble now. All right, GG. Ah, uh, the Great Beyond Black Cleaver. That is pretty crazy. Sure, we can do that. All right, remitter. Wouldn't be terrible. There's a couple things in there that could probably help us. Sure, let's go for it. Try it out. Round start, silence all units. That's kind of funny. All units have vulnerable, allies have 2-2. Two, two. I mean, who is this going to mess up more? I kind of feel like that would mess up the enemy way more, right? That's tempting. Because we're still playing giant units regardless of what they have. So we'll see how this works. We will actually try it out. This might cost us the run, but remove all keywords, abilities, and ongoing effects. It says doesn't affect damage or subtype. Let's go ahead and test it out. This yeah, really might be a terrible idea, but I'm very interested to see how this would work against Lissandra. So let's just see. All right, Lissandra and all things grow cold. All right, let's... Get rid of a couple of these. Honestly, we'd rather have some of our other champions. Let's attack. Yeah, she probably won't block. Let's just try to do as much damage as we can. Oh, she is blocking. Awesome. You wanted the god of the forge? You got him. So unfortunately, their units got summoned afterwards. Uh, let's go ahead, drop this here. I will remind the world of true power. Embrace the We'll go ahead and go here, reduce down our damage as much as possible. Uh, so this would heal us. Yeah, we'll go here. And we will wait to play our Orn. Alright, come on silence, mess with their whole board. Alright, helped us a good amount. Let's go for Challenger, try to kill their Lissandra again. Alright, they don't have a lot of mana left, so let's drop this giant unit. Uh, let's go ahead and heal our Nexus. So 
good amount of damage down. Killing their Lissandra again. Yeah, this looks all right. You're all in trouble now. You got a problem? Oh, game freaked out there for a moment. So, yeah, they're all reset down. Doesn't affect the Frost Guards as much, but really hurts their Trundle as well as their other champion. And then our units still pretty big because they were already big before. Uh, let's go for that impact. Alright, so they're obliterating that. Luckily, they don't have I Am Inevitable. Although we just need more blockers, because yeah, they're pushing a lot of damage and we don't have blockers for it. Sounds like we have a problem. Alright, we'll wait and play these next round. Wait, isn't this oh it's not technically a dragon anymore? Uh, Aurelian Soul's not really worth it. He hasn't gotten that much extra stuff on him. Whereas, like, these two have a lot more. Although, I guess we could play Orn and Elder Dragon. Or not Elder Dragon, Aurelian Soul. Yeah, we can play this first. It has Spell Shield. Uh, sure, we can go for Deathless. Alright, that's why we didn't play our Orn. Well, that's not the best thing in the world. <laughs> It was so good I named it Hammer. The good thing is that's gonna get silenced next round. Alright, so we'll attack and our Orn will die, but we don't want this killing Aurelian Soul. <laughs> Here comes my molten friend. Oh, that's not good. They're supposed to block with one of those. Because now they could just open attack. Uh, if only we could play Skies Descend. That would help us out. So we just don't have enough blockers. So they definitely could have attacked and killed us at any point there. Not really sure why they didn't. Okay, the ice shards are just going to kill us, so... It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and go again. All right, we have Elder Dragon, Great Beyond. Let's... Yeah, honestly, get rid of both of these. We'd like to get Orn right away. So the silence is probably harming us more than helping us, but it is just fun to test out. Let's play the White Flame just so they can try to frostbite that or do anything like that. 
Uh, let's actually go for the extra damage. Here, let's get on with it. Fighting is my first language. All right, he will not be strong enough to kill Lissandra. That is rough. Foolish child. The good thing is Lissandra will get silenced at the end of the round. So she no longer has her level up condition. All right, so this isn't quite strong enough to block their trundle. Not great. Let's go ahead. All right, not the best. Lock here, kill her. That is a lot of damage. What good looks like. Uh, Deathless, not gonna help us. Let's go for that challenger. No further pleasantries needed. Alright, so we can't quite play some of our more overpowered ones. This is this one though. That'll be pretty good. Uh, sure. We can grab Deathless just in case they're able to kill it. Right, so let's go right here. It can then revive. Hammer never fails. And get rid of their trundle. Ah, here comes my molten friend. I do wonder if Elder Dragon can get silenced, at least when he's leveled up. Well, that's not good. Yep, not quite enough. Not quite able to come away with a win there, but that was quite a fun run. Uh, the Inquisition, this definitely can work against Lissandra. It's going to be great against like the Watchers and Lissandra and Trundle, but their big units, their Frost Thralls, not going to be hurt that much. I think if you're going into Lissandra with I Am Inevitable, then this will be better because then you're able to get rid of all the extra stats that they're getting. So just in case you see this with one of the Ethereal Remitters, if you're going against I Am Inevitable, probably when you want to pick it up. Otherwise, not necessarily going to be the best for you, but was quite a fun run. I think for Elder Dragon himself, it would probably be a little bit better instead of using uh, the Portal Pals, even though you could play them for free. It would be better to just use Disciple of Shadows to try to get Elder Dragon on the board immediately. Probably would have helped us end right there because we could have played him if we had Disciple of Shadows but unfortunately couldn't get him on the board. Overall though, still a fun run. If you enjoyed it, definitely like and subscribe. I hope you all have a great day.